What's up, everybody? Such a beautiful morning. Got my coffee. This one had a cafeteria or a little breakfast area. So it's pretty good. Um, so I woke up this morning and uh, uh, they had a little TV in the breakfast area. And, and they said they had the hurricane coming to Florida. And, I have a really good prayer warrior buddy that lives in Florida. So I text him and I say, hey man, I'm praying for you. You stay safe in that hurricane. And he said, hey man, a couple, me and a couple of people have been praying and uh, we we're praying and um, it turned while we were praying. And so I continued watching the news and sure enough, it turned. Hallelujah, praise God. There's power in prayer. I know there's going to be people that are going to comment on them down below. Oh my God, prayer can't change nothing. Well, you keep living your life that way because I know there's power in prayer. Okay, so where's my Bible? The Lord, I was praying this morning as soon as I woke up. I said, hey Lord, do you want me to do a video? Do you not want me to do a video? I don't really care. I just want to do what you want me to do, Lord. And he said, Isaiah 53, which I do know what Isaiah 53 is. But nonetheless, he wants me to read it. So, I must find Isaiah 53. Boom, got it. <laughs> All right, Isaiah 53. Now, Let's see. Uh, now let's go to verse 5. Now let's go to verse 4. Alright. So Isaiah is before the New Testament. Okay? It's before the New Testament. That means before Christ. Okay? Came on the scene. Okay? It's, I even got a tattoo of it. Isaiah Isaiah 53 5 verse 5 but we're going to go to verse 4 first okay alright surely he hath bore our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we didn't esteem his strucken submitted of God and afflicted but he was verse 5 this is the most famous one because there's different verses throughout the Old Testament that does prophesy it of Christ. And Christ did exact everything that these prophecies did. This is how I don't understand how some of my Jewish brothers don't understand that Christ is the Messiah. Now, I do have a lot of Messianic friends that do believe Christ is the Messiah. A Messianic is Jews that believe in Christ. So there is lots of Jews out there that do believe in Christ. So, anyway, this is one of the prophecies in the Old Testament that prophesies of Christ. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And he was chast chastisement of our peace unto him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Now, check this out. So I've been going to go through the desert. And my buddy that's in Florida, I was feeling down. You know, and, and here's another thing. If you're going through something and you're feeling alone, and it's kind of hard for me to go to church, so my church is praying, and I have brothers and sisters around, um, around the United States and around the world, actually, uh, one in Australia, one in Ireland, um, and one in London, yes. Um, but if you need a brother or a s brother to brother, sister to sister, if you need a prayer warrior, somebody that you can call in the middle of the night to say, hey, man, I, I, I'm going through something. I need, I need some prayer. Or if they need something, they can call you, vice versa. That's how we're supposed to do it. Body of Christ. So that's my buddy in Florida. Been going through the desert 
And so, brother, I need some prayer. Man, I need some, I need some prayer. Sometimes you, we need prayer. We need, we need some encouragement. So, um, he said that God told him to tell me that, that I have peace available. All I have to do is ask and I got peace. And, oh man, I, I just, oh man, I was just, and what I'm going through right now is exactly what I'm going through because it's helping me seek the Lord even more and it's amazing. So here's, here's the thing. Here's, here's what that verse says about that a prophecy of Jesus giving peace unto us, basically. Okay. Now, in the New Testament, it talks about that Jesus gives us peace. So, I know these verses, okay? And when I heard that, that the Lord, I just forgot that I can ask Jesus for peace. Why I'm in this desert, why I'm struggling, why I'm trying to change the way I think and try to think and try to change the way I act in this desert. So, I feel alone, I feel anything, and then I was like, Lord, just give me your peace. And all of a sudden, the things that are in me so tight and in my head and, and, and all the things. And, and when I just simply say, Lord, give me peace, it just seems like all that stuff just melts away. Then I have peace beyond understanding. I have such peace right now. David says... King David says, when you get that peace, never let it go. So true, because it makes life bearable. It makes life, I don't want to say bearable. It makes life like, no matter what's going on in your life, you got peace. You're centered with Christ. So my challenge to you today it's available to you. It's available to you. That if you are saved, if you, if you are saved, peace is available to you. All you got to do is ask King Jesus, Yeshua. All you got to do is ask him, say, Jesus, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand the things around me, but just give me peace. The Bible says he will give you peace. Now, this is available for those that walk with Christ. These are the people that have Christ within their heart. If you don't have Christ in your heart, the Bible says that you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised Later, you're not promised the next hour. You're not promised your next minute. Look, I'm not here to bash Jesus down your throat. But I do want to give you some advice. You walking in this world without Jesus, you're living a dangerous game, my friend game that I know truly about and I can't believe that I survived it my friend it's a gamble it is a Russian roulette living your life without Christ <sighs> anyway all right, brothers and sisters, you have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm going back home to Colorado today. And uh, I kind of like doing these morning Bible things. Uh, I did one yesterday, and it seemed like the Holy Spirit was talking to certain people that needed that right at the moment. And um, I'm just going to keep doing it until God says stop. So... Like I said, I'm being clayed right now. I'm being molded right now. I'm being, a, 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 you know, humbling myself and being obedient to the Lord. So, like I said, I kind of like these morning things, but 
I'm going to just keep doing it until God says not to. So um, I hope you're blessed. I hope this blesses you. Um, leave a comment below. I will get to your comments. Share, like, and subscribe. All that stuff. If not, then hey, I don't care. I'm God's servant and I just want a relationship with the Lord. I don't care about the numbers on my YouTube. I don't care about all that other stuff because it, what really matters is a relationship with my Savior. Hallelujah. Be blessed.